Well, the lady in question actually was written by one of my favorite playwrights and performers. His name was Charles Bush. And Lady in Question was one of his most famous. Boy meets girl, girl meets another boy, the love triangle ensues, and then you have to decide who gets the right one. And there's a little twist to the boy-girl relationship. Well, uh, I I'm the eye candy in the show, and I'm the all-American boy, and, uh, I'm, you know, a young fella. And uh, I'm over there in, uh, in Nazi Germany, getting ready to do battle for, for the, good, the good cause. And, and in, me, in the meantime, I fall in love with Gertrude Garnet. My character in uh, The Lady in Question, The Baron, is the, the comic relief. There's so much eye candy in the show that they need someone to be funny. And obviously, look at me, I, that would be my perfect role. Fortunately, I meet a beautiful enchantress. And I fall madly in love with her on first sight. And her name is Gertrude Garnet, played by the one and only Ed Fernandez. I have two leading men in the show, too. Count them, too. And um, nothing against uh, Evan at all. I mean, he's a, he's a good guy. Um, but me and Bob, that's magic. Biggest divas I've ever had the horrible, horrible time of, of having to direct. Gertrude Garnet, leading concert pianist of the international stage. And she's making her around the world tour and they stop in Germany. It just so happens that Gertrude gets involved in a Nazi plot to take over the free world. There's love and romance and espionage and her life is threatened and they're evil Nazi killer girls. Lottie von Elsner is the niece of the Baron von Elsner. She's a ray of sunshine. She's very sweet. She's very innocent. She carries a knife with her at all times. I'm actually not playing a woman so much. I'm playing a young girl, which is very, very interesting. I had to revert back to some very childish behavior. That came sort of easily. And prancing around in heels. That came easily as well. Oh, Jean Ellis, the director of Lady in Question. Whoa. No, that's a sad story. Gene is not a very nice person. I, I don't know what it, what it is about him. Oh, uh, Gene is a real, uh, he's a real dictator of a, of a guy. We have a good cast and everybody works well together. And it's, they're good friends. Uh, numerous times we have had water bottles thrown at us. We wheel him in. He yells, points, throws things. and. Then we wheel him back out again and tell him the show was wonderful. This is my first experience of directing Ed. There is a place in heaven for me and there are stars in my crown. Do you get to join us? No, thank you, darling. I, I think I'll just wait here for Kitty. You should not be alone. Uh, but I guess loneliness is a cloak borne by all artists. Well then, I guess it'll take a very special man to Drip it off, man. Oh, a provocative Gertrude. <laughs> Someday I shall find the key to your mysterious nature. The key? Oh, well, the audience is going to love me. There's no doubt about that. Um, as I said, I'm definitely the eye candy in the show. So, you know, all, all of you good looking women out there, please come and enjoy the show. And I'll be happy to meet you afterwards. I think the audience's reaction to the show is going to be shock, amazement bewilderment, adoration. They're going to have a wonderful time. As soon as the show starts, they'll get the true sense of what it's all about, and they're gonna have a blast with it. Hopefully they'll enjoy it, hopefully they'll laugh, hopefully they'll get, it's just a fun, fun, fun vehicle that we're doing. Basically what the Greeks said, pity, terror, and awe, uh, the audience reaction. <laughs> Hopefully they'll laugh, they'll be shocked, they'll be amazed, they'll be... Well, I think people who come to Lady in Question mostly will know what they're in for.